Hey church family, as we are getting ready to reopen the doors of our church and to meet together to worship, um, there's a lot of things obviously still going on and a lot of things to still consider. Number one, I realize that there are some people on one end of the spectrum that are just ready for this to be over, ready to get together, um, not worrying about precautions and let's just get this thing going. And there are people on the other end of the spectrum um, that are saying, well, wait a second, there's still cases of this coronavirus that are popping up. There's still people dying of this in our world and in our country every single day. And I don't know that I'm all that ready to come rushing back. We wanna respect both sides of that and we wanna make it as safe as we possibly can for people to come back to worship. And so we've taken some precautions and I just wanna take a few minutes to walk through with you what it's gonna look like on Sunday morning. A couple of things, and I really don't wanna focus on the things that we won't have because the one thing that we are gonna have is community. We are gonna have people coming together to worship Jesus together. And I wanna make sure that that's the focus of what we're doing here. But there are a couple of things that we'll be missing that I just wanna make sure that you're aware of because if there's, uh, if because we don't have these things, you wanna stay at home and live stream it, that's okay. We're gonna continue live streaming it. We're gonna still make it available for you to watch at home. But I want you to know that we will not have any kids programming starting out. It's gonna be a few weeks before we're ready to introduce our lower level and to have our kids pro programming back. So you're gonna be sitting with your kids during the worship service, okay? Um, the second thing that I wanna make sure that you know, because this is gonna really, some of you won't know what to do with this information, all right? So you might wanna be sitting down right now. We will not have coffee, all right? You're gonna have to bring your own if you bring it, but we will not have a coffee bar. We will not have any of the coffee stuff out. You're not gonna be able to have that aspect of it, all right? So I know some of you have to take that in for a second, so I'll give you three seconds. All right, are we okay now? All right, so here we go. This is what it's gonna look like when you come to worship on Sunday morning. First, the doors are gonna be propped open for you. We're not gonna, uh, we're gonna try to make it uh, as possible as we can for you not to have to touch any door handles or anything as you go into the church, okay? Um, so the doors are gonna be propped open for you and we're gonna have a team that will be out here taking people's temperatures and asking a few basic questions just to make sure it's a good idea for you to come in. Now. We realize that you can probably answer those questions and already know, and if you had a temperature, you wouldn't be coming, all those kinds of things. Again, just a necessary precaution we're taking to make sure that people feel safe and comfortable coming in for worship. All right, let's go inside the doors and I'll show you what's next. Once you come inside the doors, there'll be a table on your right hand side. The table will have masks on it. Now we are not requiring people to wear masks. We're not gonna keep you from coming in if you don't have one on. We're just strongly recommending and suggesting it, okay? It's a good idea, especially when you're coming in and going out to have a mask on, just like when you're going to the grocery store today. Um, but once you get to your seat, if to sing you wanna take it off, we fully get that. But we're asking you to wear a mask if you would. If you can't, don't want to, it's up to you. Uh, but again, I just remind you like I did a couple of weeks ago, we need to be thinking about other people, not just ourselves. You might not wanna wear a mask and you may not wanna go through that, but for the safety and security of other people, it might be a good idea to wear one. But anyway, if in the, in the event you didn't bring a mask and would like one, we'll have some sitting out. We also have some folks that need to use the uh, hearing devices that we have to be able to hear the service. We'll have that at this table as well. We'll also have a greeter here, just making sure that everyone feels warm and welcome because we are excited that we get to meet back together again. Now, I hope you had the opportunity to watch the Tim Hawkins video that I put up on Facebook um, because while it was done in humor, yes, we are gonna have people with hand sanitizer and it's not because we don't trust you, it's not because we don't love you, it's just because, again, we just wanna make sure that we're keeping the place as clean as possible to prevent any spreading of sickness. So once you come past the desk or the uh, table that has the mask on them, we then will have a couple of volunteers with hand sanitizer ready to give you a small squirt so that before you go into the worship center, you can make sure that you clean your hands before you go in. When you enter the worship center, we're gonna have a couple of ushers that, are, that will be there to give some instructions, but we also will have our communion table and have communion set out for you. What we're asking is that you take your one communion cup with the wafer, I know it tastes like styrofoam, but that's what we're using for right now, and take that with you to your seat when you go in. The ushers will be here to give you some instructions. 
And these what, this is what their instruction will be. When you come in, there will be nine o'clock rows and 1030 rows. We ask that whichever service you're attending, that you sit in that particular row. The rows are spaced out enough that when people sing, they won't be spitting on the back of your head or anything, and nor will you be spitting on the back of somebody else's head. So the rows are spaced out like that. So you will be asked to sit in the appropriate row, row for the time of service that you come. The other thing that they will ask of you is that if you came with people that are not in your family or not living under your household, if you would separate yourself or your family three chairs away from that other family, that other couple, that other person, okay? Again, I know that might not seem as friendly because we're having some social distancing and everything, but I think we're all on the same page. Everybody understands what's going on. Nobody's gonna be offended. So when you come in, grab a communion cup for you and uh, each person in your family can grab theirs as they go through. You don't need to be handling all the, the communion cups, just grab yours. And when you come in, uh, the ushers will, will help you find a seat if you can't find one but they'll instruct you to make sure that you sit in the row that is assigned to the service that you are coming to, either 9 or 10.30. Again, as you can see, the rows are spaced far enough apart to be able to keep up with social distancing guidelines. And in each particular row, if you'll keep three chairs between you and another family or another couple, another person that does not live with you, it will again abide by those social distancing rules. The service is going to start at 9.30, and at, I'm sorry, at 9 o'clock and at 10.30. And when service starts, the worship team will be up there, we'll sing, we'll worship, we'll have the sermon, and then we'll do communion and offering at the end. We'll do that at the end for two reasons. Number one, the communion cup that you have, if we did it before the message, there's a chance that you may forget to take that out with you when you leave. Secondly, um, offering will not be traditional uh, like we, uh, as we normally do. Usually we pass an offering bag and people put their offering in. We're not going to be doing any of that. And so at the conclusion of the service, after we've done communion and offering and closing song, we're going to dismiss you by rows from the back. And we're going to ask you to enter or exit the rear exits, one on the right, one on the left. And as you exit through those exits, you will then go on to the side exits for the building out into the parking lot. We'll have an offering box at each of those doors so that if you want to worship in giving any particular Sunday, you'll be able to do so. If there's any fellowshipping that you wanna do, we just ask that you take that to the parking lot where it's outside, it's easier to have your social distancing, and uh, we really don't want any congregating inside the, uh, the, or in the lobby or in the hallways just for the fact that it's just not as safe as being outdoors and being able to distance yourself from other people. Again, I know it sounds like a lot of things that we're trying to limit or that we're trying to cut out here, and it's not because we don't wanna do them. I can't tell you how much that I look forward to the day where we can have our warm handshakes and hugs once again, and we can have the coffee and we can have a time of fellowship and our hallway is filled and there's noise and the kids programming is going on. And I look forward to that so much. I can't tell you how much. But for the time being, we need to take baby steps toward that. I'm just glad that we get to start meeting together to worship again. It was fine worshiping at home and preaching to a camera and all those kinds of things. It was 12 weeks that we did that for, 12 weeks. And so I'm glad that we can just start to slowly come back together. But we're asking you to make sure and just be mindful of those around us, the steps we're trying to take to get to our ultimate goal of just being able to be back together as we were once before. Thank you so much ahead of time for abiding by these things. We appreciate it very much. Um, we hope that it still is a good worship experience for you when you come, that you'll want to bring your friends, that you'll want to come and experience worship with us. Um, but again, just please uh, abide by those uh, uh, things that we put in place to keep everybody safe and happy and healthy so that we can work toward a day where we can start getting rid of some of these restrictions that we have. I love you guys. I'm looking forward to seeing you on Sunday morning. Have a great day.